Hello from Sketch Data. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a feature in our version 2 catalog. It's more of an engineering feature. These cabinets use what we call a smart part, which means they have attributes that allow us to export uh, cut size, material, and edge banding to a cut listing program, in this case, a uh, cut list plus. So if I were to take a look at this cabinet here, and I'll turn off the countertop because these are cabinets that we've modified in the previous video. So we've it create, it created a chase behind this cabinet, and we have an extended end panel. If I highlight that cabinet and click on this option up here, I can see the parts that I'm going to send to Cutlass Plus. Door pulls, hinges, legs, drawer guides. It's only an 18-inch drawer guide because we shallowed up that cabinet. We actually have labor in the cabinet, and there's some global variables that you can set uh, linear foot uh, times for those areas. Then we actually have the parts that are made out of sheet goods. In this case, we have a left end panel, and its material is what it's using to paint the faces. So it's saying I have case material on one side, three quarter thick, and interior material on the other side, because that's a finished end. And then I have edge banding case along the front edge, and no other banding. The other end panel is interior interior, so it's just white white, and so forth and so on, until we get down to the door panels, which are edge banded all the way around. So if we look at how we export, there's a feature on the toolbox called Cut Plus, Cutlass Plus Export. And what we have here is, up here we can specify the file we're going to create. This is our material inventory, so you can build a list of codes that represent your inventory in your cut listing program. Because what we need to do here is basically translate the materials that cabinets are made out of to the inventory that's in your Cutlass Plus. So this can be user dependent. In this case, we have some dimensional lumber. I have several different types of edge banding, some hardware, labor, and then various sheet goods. But like I said, depending how detailed you want to get the inventory from Cutlass Plus is however you want to set it up. So we'll hit build data. And what it does here, up here it tells us all the materials that were used and their colors or their the the images that were used. So it helps us remember what we were talking about when we said drawers. In this case, I had them painted white, so that'll help me remember that I probably want to cut them out of white melamine. And the interiors were also white, but the edge of the case and the doors, I was using this JPEG, so I know it's some kind of wood, and in this case it probably is the white, the brown wood out here. This will help more if you had more than one color in, in a room. So now down below here is a summary of all the things we need to relate to in our inventory so that we can build our Cutlass Plus file. So we have edge banding, hardware, labor, and sheet goods that make up those cabinets. So I'm going to start with my edge banding, the drawers, and I have edge banding white, so I'm just going to double click. And edge banding on the case, we're going to use color one. And I have, in my particular inventory in Cutlass Plus, I have two edge bandings for color one. I have a half mil and I have a three mil, or an eighth inch thick. So now I have the edge of the doors, and we're going to edge band the doors with half mil also. Edge of the interiors, we're just going to use white. Hinges, my hardware's pretty straightforward, but you could have more elaborate hardware if you wanted. Runners, same thing. Labor. So now we get into the sheet goods. So now I have quarter inch drawer material on both sides, so that's probably my drawer bottoms. And I'm going to cut those out of white melamine. And then I have half inch drawers, so that's probably the sides in the front and back of my drawers. So I'm going to cut those out of white melamine. This is face case, three quarter face interior. So that's probably my finished ends. And this is a veneer, so I'm just going to pick one sided veneer. This is my face door, three quarter door, so I'm going to do two sided veneer. This is quarter inch face interior, face interior, so those are probably the back of my cabinets. I'm going to go back up and use white melamine. And this is interior, three quarter face interior, so that's probably the other case parts, so I'm going to use white melamine. Okay, so now I can create a file. So that's done. 
Now I'm going to take that file over into Cutlist Plus, so I'm going to pause the video. My uh, recording program doesn't like switching between SketchUp and Cutlist Plus, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here I have Cutlist Plus open, and here are all our parts that we imported in, and I did that using the Import Parts function. And I would pick my cut list, and then we have a filter for sketch data that you would import in. So we look at all our parts. We have all our sizes. Sheet good, and here are the codes that we set over in SketchUp. The veneer one, two-sided, melamine white, the edge banding codes, things like that. So are all the parts. And then over in SketchUp, we can put cabinet tags to say what cabinet they are uh, for helps tie us back to which cabinet this part goes into. Other items, so as our hardware, we have our labor, and then of course we would get our layouts. So we can see in our quarter inch, we have back panels and drawer bottoms probably, half inch, a whole bunch of little parts, drawer box front and backs and sides. And then we get into the three quarter white, Let's see, so we have some shelves with edge banding along one side, and uh, so Cutlass Plus will take off for the edge banding. So whatever thickness we have set in for the edge banding, whatever edges we have. So here's some wall-in panels. So we can see we're edge banding C1 along one length. We're not edge banding the back edge, we're edge banding the top and uh, the bottom with white. So it took off, that's a 48 inch tall cabinet, and it took off 32nd and then a 64th in the depth. And in the bomb, we get all kinds of summaries. There's no dimensional labor. We get our sheet goods, banding, hardware, labor. And so, anyways, so that was the interface to take the data out of SketchUp and translate the parts so you can get some reporting and some estimating uh, with uh, Cutlass Plus. Thanks for watching the video.